Scotty here, welcome back to Let's Play Star Wars X-Men Alliance. A few people want me to dive once again, so I went ahead and changed the team slightly. I've now made it so we start slightly closer together, and we're going to be flying around in a minefield, which could be very interesting. So let's go ahead and dive straight in. Now, I've made it so that there's more starships this time. They have bigger guns and can more or less sometimes destroy you in one shot if they get an accurate hit. Oh god, okie dokie. And suddenly, all of the death and destruction, hopefully you guys can still hear me. Now, once again, it's a 10 minute limit, so I'm going to be playing for about 10 minutes. And I might have time for more than just one match. Just see all my allies in the distance there, firing away at the enemy. Now, I kind of realised I completely missed May the 4th. I was like, oh, the day after it was May the 4th. So I completely missed uh, publishing a Star Wars game on that day, which sort of a bit of a kick in the teeth, but there we go. Come here, you bugger. Let me kill you. So many bullets. I don't know how they're not hitting me. Oh, God. Space collisions, nearly. So as you can see, there is more of the bigger craft dotted around. So if I get too close to one, then I risk death. Oh, God. Well, that saved me. So where's the Ravager? There it is. There we go. Got you, yeah, my guy. <laughs> oh dear, four. It's not your day, is it? Now, the timer just kind of counts down until the end. You don't have to kill everybody. It's who has the most points at the end. There we go. I'm killing quite a few still. I'm doing oddly well compared to last time. I hit him as well from miles away because there's no bullet drop in space. Yeah. There we go. But there's no bullet drop. You can still shoot in front of the target and then they'll fly into it and it'll blow them up. I do like playing the occasional flying game. It's a bit of a change uh, to the real-time strategy games that I sometimes play. And just the general indie game that I sometimes play. It's nice to play an older game that I actually have some experience with. Now, we haven't got a cat's chance in hell, or snowball's chance in hell, of actually destroying the enemy at this stage. Is he dead? Is he going to blow up? No, not yet. There we go, he's gone. Now, I'm, I've actually got quite a lot of ammo left. Oh god, I've been shoulder shot. Now, I think it glows green in front of me when I actually hit the target. Yeah, it does. Whoops. I said hit an eye as he flew past there, but I didn't kill him. Which is lucky. Now, you can see I keep uh, effectively feathering my throttle. Uh, when you're on a lower throttle, you can turn faster. Which is kind of what you'd expect. Because you're not going to travel as far as you're moving. God damn it. Now, if you guys are wondering, I actually got this game from good old games. Uh, they recently released loads of Star Wars games. There's also some Star Trek games which I might actually have a look at. And I got distracted there. I missed my target. There it is. Come on. Hey, you better take that bandit off your stick. That wasn't my fault, he flew in front of me. Got him. Now, I'm not sure how to reload my weapons. I'm probably going to have to crash into something. And suddenly, I am right near the enemy. Oh god, I'm going to die, aren't I? I might hit that guy. Okay, I am out of ammo. God damn it. I'm not sure what else I can do apart from maybe suicide run straight into the Star Destroyer. In fact, no. I'll crash into a mine. If 
I can find the mine. So those are my allied craft. I just flew past the mine. I don't think I can reload though. There's no way for me to for me to reload my craft. Oh god, I pressed something. Oh, that was the M, M button. Okay, so let's suicide run directly in to the enemy craft. Why not? Imperial Star Destroyer, I'm coming for you. Oh, I'm actually going to die. Come on, kill me. Shoot me. I want to actually be destroyed. Here we go. Message from Vital Craft. There are other starship attacks. Another bandit down. There we go. Just one or two hits and I managed to die horribly. So I spawned in what was an active craft. I'm not sure how to find my rockets by the way. So I need to find that out. So it's been a while since I've played and I can't remember how. Aha! Vision lock. So you can lock your vision in with the enemy target. So that it tracks it. Which is kind of actually harder to aim. Okay, screw that. That's hard to aim as hell. Even though I still can't hit him somehow. Come on. There we go. That's one hit. As we fly through space and all the bullets. There's more bullets in space right now. One, one or two more hits should do it. It's spinning out of control. Come on. So close to kill him. There we go. Now, they keep returning in waves. You can, as I said, you can never really destroy them all. So hopefully we'll start getting some fresh allies soon. So if I die, I'll have more or less full ammunition. Oh god. Now, something disappointing that I read earlier. Uh, the new Star Wars game that's coming out won't actually have any space combat. Which is a bit of a dis disappointment, but there we go. They might add it later. Hopefully not as big as the DLC. Because I really like playing Star Wars Battlefront 2, the space battle that was included in that. Uh, it allowed you to kind of branch out a bit more from the traditional FPS kind of game. I mean, shut up, aren't I? Come on. Oh, come on. I will shoot you whether you like it or not, Mr. TIE Fighter. Imagine to get away from me, because I can't hit him. There we go. Wait, is there no... Oh, okay, there is an enemy TIE Fighter, it's about. But right now I'm just circling through the mines, apparently. Kill all of the enemy mines. I don't have a bandit on my six. Primary Why you lie? Oh god. That hurt. Come on. Well, I managed to hit one of them. Slightly. And he's dead. Now, I might play through the campaign of this if you guys want me to. If you guys actually want to see me fly, at least attempt to complete the campaign, because I have played it through before. And somehow we did rather well through some magicness. So, let's, let's fly again. 
But let's in we could increase the AI, I guess. Ace. Yeah, let's inc increase some of them to eight AI. See how we go with these. Just max them all out. Now you have to do it all manually, sadly. I could copy paste them all, but that would get rid of what I've got in there. So let's stick them all on Ace, and then we'll play another round. It's kind of sad how the um, the actual big ships don't appear to move around, which would be good. If they actually moved around and assaulted each other, uh, like you see in the actual movies, that would lead to some good close quarter combat. Because right now you just get waves upon waves of fighters attacking each other. There we go, Ace. A couple more. Oops. Whoops, a daisy. I pressed all of the wrong buttons. Cattle. Press all. Why? There we go. My mouse clicky finger does not work today. Because I keep pressing the wrong button. And Ace AI. Okay, so. This could end very badly. This is one. I'm under heavy fire. This is four. I'm under heavy fire. This is three. I've got a storm oh, firing at me. This is six. Holy I shit. I know. This is fine. I need assistance fast. Well, out. This is three. I'm having trouble over here. This is six. I'm under heavy fire. Right now, okay. I couldn't move at all. I was more or less hosed from the beginning, just then. It hit something, and everything just died. Hit. There we go, got one. My god. So much destruction. Because both us and the enemy AI are incredibly accurate. And he's trying to get on my six. He's trying. Oh god. Come on. I've got no ammo. Bollocks. Okay, just shoot me for this. Laser system is damaged and, in and inoperable. There we go. I actually wanted to be blown up just so that I had some ammunition. And this guy has no ammunition either. Oh, this is brilliant. So brilliant that I've got no ammo whatsoever. Okay. Oh, I was killed by an ally. We're still winning somehow. We've got 2,000 points to 6 points. Don't know how that works. Even though I've managed to die more times than I did in the last one. I guess that's why it's an absolute massacre on both sides. Yeah. Oh no, we lost four. Yes, you lost four because I keep dying. I haven't got a kill yet. I think I bit off a bit more than I can chew. Well, I've got no, um, no more ammo again. So I'm not sure how to fire my lasers. Okay, I can adjust my shields. It's space to reset. No, I don't want to reset the mission. Wait, what? Alright, I got ammo back. Somehow. Oh. I converted my shields into ammo. That's not good. <laughs> Didn't know I could do that. Don't know if that's an incredibly bad thing or an incredibly good thing that I just did. Probably an incredibly bad thing because I now have no shields whatsoever. Got it. It's still a massacre. Everything's exploding. Got him. And he's not after me. Kind of interesting how I haven't taken a hit yet, considering I have no shields whatsoever.
Come on. Can, can you stop out turning me? You stupid craft. I want to kill you. God damn it. Now this is a, one of the few games that I've actually played with the joystick. I do play the occasional flying game, but sometimes, a lot of the time, I just do it with keyboard and mouse. Which can be detrimental sometimes. I'm never going to hit this guy, am I? I'm just kind of... I'm going to try a different one, because I'm not going to hit that guy at all. No, I didn't. Friendly aircraft, my ass. Is this the same guy that I was chasing? I think it is. Mission critical craft? There is no mission critical crafts. Oh well. I guess the AI can do my job for me and kill everything. Oh god. Can I, oh, for, I want to kill please. I think I've got one kill so far. Or maybe two. But right now, we're more or less destroying the enemy. Let's look at this, there's that many X-Wings chasing one craft. It's a X-Wing massacre. And we've got three minutes remaining just about. Your craft does not have a beam system. S foils have closed. Let okay. I'm just pressing buttons just to see what they do. I've got no shield, so that's kind of no. I don't want to restart the mission. Okay. Oh god! I mean, shut up! Oh god! That's not good. Kill me! Thank you. This is eight. I've got a starship firing at me. So there's no no enemies around. There's just mines. What the hell? Some of the fighters aren't even moving. They're just kind of floating. The stationary. Like uh, I can hit these guys without even going anywhere. Whereas I'm just kind of getting looped around. Oops. Keep it up. Got him. So, I think that's my fourth Imperial kill. Training seems to be lack. Oh really? Two minutes until the end of time. Not the end of time, but the end of the mission. And once again, he's died before I even turn around. Well, I might have to hit one of them. Report on primary target. They've been destroyed. Primary target update. They're shielded around. Method from mission critical craft. They're under starship attack. Are they really? Great shot. Report there we go. I knew I could get another kill before the, end, before the end of it. Da -da. Primary target update. They've been destroyed. Report on primary target. They're nope, nope, nope. Fuck. I like how, because you can see the craft, you can see the bullets fly, flying past them uh, on the kind of Report UX thing. Oh no!
Well, that was fun. All of the destruction. Got 30 seconds remaining. Come on. Wow. Got him. With 18 seconds remaining. Now I have no idea why it's so easy. I have no idea why the enemy team has minus 1,876. Unless that's a bug. It might be. Okay. So... I got a grand total of six kills and a total score of minus 746. Okay, if you guys want to see some more of this, feel free to let me know. I might try and play through the campaign or I might even stream it at some point because it is sort of a game that you could stream uh, for a couple of hours. So I'll include a link in the description for you guys to give it a try for yourself. But that's all for me for now. See ya.